Hello everyone, it's Pai Guru this side. And today in this tutorial, we are going to learn how can we create a runner using Silver Bullet 1.4.1 Pro. So in the previous tutorial, we learned how can create a config for an API site. Moving further, we'll learn how can we create or set up a simple runner to uh, check bulk combo lists using Silver Bullet. Okay. So here are the topics that we'll be discussing in this tutorial. First, we'll learn how to create a config, which we have already done in the previous tutorial. Then we'll learn how can we load word list, then how to load proxies, and finally how can we set up runner and run the bots. So for this, I'll be using previous tutorial config, which is this one, the uh, country oven config. You can watch the previous tutorial to understand the working of this config. Otherwise, let's just start with the config part. Okay? So in order to use this config inside the runner, we have to modify it a little. First of all, if you uh, see in the last, we are just appending uh, the cap, the variables that we are uh, capturing inside a file. So if I just open my file system, uh, we were getting this kind of uh, output, a file basically in which the user information was stored. But now, uh, what this will do, if you run the config from here by passing our email ID and password, uh, it will save the details of only one single user. But now let's say we have a huge amount of user ID and passwords and we want to check them in bulk. Let's say 20,000, 50,000 or even 100,000 of uh, email and passwords and we want to check them. So for that, what we do, we simply create a runner which is here. Okay. So now this runner will automatically check all the email and passwords for us using this config and whichever is correct, it will store that email and password inside a database or a text file. So for this, what we have to do, first we have to modify our uh, config a little. Let us delete these two uh, file methods. We don't need it for the runner. So we'll simply remove this block, remove this block as well. Uh, one more thing here, we have created few variables. The first one was uh, this customer ID, but though we are not saving it in anywhere. Okay, see in the final output, we are not saving this. So what we can do, uh, we can simply ignore it. But for the rest of the variables that we have created, like here, the name of the user, uh, the email, if you want to save it inside a file or our database, what you have to do, uh, we have to convert it to into capture. Currently, it's a variable. You can see here, it's written bar. If you just click on this bar, it will turn to a capture okay so if it's a capture it will be saved inside a file or a database so let's just turn all the variables to capture that we want to save so mobile number will also be captured and then parse it will also be captured uh, address sorry then wallet will also be captured if you want you can just convert the config by also a capture if you want okay it's up to you so let me just convert this and save this script uh, you can also see the code that you have written or the blogs that you have created. Its code is available here. If you want, you can just check. Okay. Here you can see it's a cap, which means capture. So now we'll be saving it inside a file or database. Otherwise, it will be written var here. Okay. For variables. So our first part is done that we have already created a config and we have set up it for a run. Now let's see how can we load a word list or combo. So basically what is combo or word list? It's a collection of email IDs and password okay separated by a column now you can uh, where can you get this combo usually you will buy it from dark market or telegram or internet forums uh, mostly it's leaked information of websites okay so you can either buy it or you can just uh, try to generate it yourself but anyways let's say we have some information here some amount of username and passwords so what we want to do, we have to convert it to a word list uh, to load it into uh, our silo grid. So for this, what we do, let me just copy this and we have to go to a file system where you have installed a silver grid. So this is my silver grid folder. If you want to load this word list or basically these email ID and password inside silver grid, what you have to do, uh, just scroll down, you will find a folder named word list. Okay. What you have to do, uh, let me just delete this file. So you have to create a text file here, which will be like this text document. Give this file a name. Our website is country oven, so I'll simply name it as country oven. And you have to paste all the email and passwords here. Okay. Uh, usually when you buy this or uh, combo list or list from 
uh, any forum or uh, download from telegram you will get by default in a text file okay so you don't have to do anything simply you have to paste that file inside this word list folder after do, uh, pasting this what you have to do you have to go to the word list here then you have to click on add then you have to select the location where you have saved the word list so our word list is inside the uh, here word list folder so country oven dot txt okay uh, basically you have to navigate to your silver bullet project folder and uh, there you have to find word list folder and that file uh, name is country oven uh, this give the rest like this and accept it so here you can see it's loaded now and it has 16 email id and password as of now so we have now uh, loaded the word list now let's see how can you load proxies so for that what you have to do uh, first of all you will need some proxies so i already have few proxies on my system let's say here okay again you can download it from telegram or internet or anywhere if you want fresh proxies i already have a tutorial how can you script fresh proxies okay you can just run that script uh, script and then filter them out of it so these are http proxies as of now so again this is a text file uh, what you have to do you have to go to silver bullet then proxies tab then you have to click on import then you need to just select the location where you have saved your proxy file so it's my downbox builder http.txt i'll just load it like this if your proxy is, is having username password you have to enter it but as you can see we don't have username password inside it so we'll simply accept it like this so if i just uh, see it you can see there are total 90 proxies inside it okay so now what we have to do we have to check how many of them are working so for this what you have to do uh, select this file and then click on send to checker okay now it has loaded all the proxies here as you can see and these are currently untested so what we have to do you have to tell which website you want to test against so let's say i want to test against www uh, sorry github.com website so here this is github.com website and then we want a success key how can we know that a proxy is working so for this what we'll do if i just right click on it and select view page source and if i search for title tag here you'll see this is the title on this web page that is github okay so what we can do we can just copy this entire line and then paste here okay so let's say if our website if our proxy is visiting this page and it's getting this text inside the html it means we have successfully visited the site or the proxy is working so you have to get, get uh, type the target website and then a success key like this again this is a proxy list is http so you have to select http here then you can decide how many you want or concurrent request you want to make so i have selected let's say 51 watt or even it's up to you how many watts you want to run concurrently uh, bot is simply how many concurrent requests you want to run okay so after doing all of this you can just click on check and it will start checking now it is going to take some time so here it says not working is 26 out of 90 i guess none of them are working as of now okay so do, uh, anyways this is how we can just uh, download and load proxies so our config as of now don't, doesn't need any proxies you can see uh, we have only 16 uh, you can say uh, email id and password so we don't need a proxy but let's say if you have uh, in millions or thousands then you need proxies otherwise the server may block you so in that case we use proxies okay so what we can do we can just leave it or in your case what will happen uh, you will get for working for getting s yes so what you can do you can simply delete all the not working and then export that proxy okay remaining proxies to another desk drive that's it anyway this is how you can load proxies finally our last thing is to set up a runner to do that what you have to do is to just go to runner tab then you have to click on this plus icon then you have to uh, select the config so our config name is country on.com which we created in the previous tutorial then you have to from, uh, tell how many words or concurrent requests you want to make so let's say i want to make five uh, requests at the same time because we have only 16 mails but it's okay you can also create 50 words 100 words but make sure you don't make more than 200 words okay so 
after this starting point just keep it one uh, let's say uh, you have uh, let's say you have 50000 email and passwords and you are running it but let's say by some, for some reason it break in between so starting point just tells from how many emails you want to start from so if it's one it means we'll start checking from first email and uh, password okay proxy mode will be default then you have to say go to uh, data pool so here you have to select your word list again we have uh, already added a word list so we'll simply select our country or our word list here and click on select it's loaded it has 16 emails and password in the proxy tab you can just select which proxy you want again we have this loaded but uh, remember none of these are working so we'll simply ignore the proxy as we don't need it but in your case if you have proxy working proxy you can just load it like this okay and then finally hit output so we have uh, currently it will save it to a database okay if you if you want to save it to a db file which is actually open, you can open it using mysql you don't have to do anything but let's say i also want it to add to a text file so what you can do you can just select file system here and then click on add so file system here it will be saved inside the hits folder just keep it like this and inside the robot you don't have to do anything so after doing all these settings you can simply click on accept now if you want to modify anything you can just click these three dots and again click on options to uh, modify these things but let's say we don't want to modify anything then just double click on this config or sorry runner and you will get a interface like this okay so it says runner in a slice successfully or country is country oven.com well, this is country oven we have not loaded any proxy okay if you load it it will be shown here okay so currently we only have to uh, check for data and we are not checking for proxies now what we have to do uh, we can simply start okay running all the uh, email id and password again it says one here if you want to start from let's say 10 you can just type 10 here it's a two so after all the setup let's just click on start and it will start setting the email id and password so it says uh, whichever are successful that email id and password will be so near see currently two are working out of 15 so uh, in total uh, we executed as you can see 15 email and passwords out of which four are hits it means four, such, four email id and passwords are successfully uh, working or correct okay uh, rest 11 are incorrect so we have got these three four uh, working email id and passwords now if i just go to my uh, local file system and to my hits folder you'll see a folder will be created by country or not com name and inside it we have a file success.txt automatically is updated inside it you can see we have this data that is this is the email and password type is success config is this word list is this proxy we don't have any date is always it was checked is this and capture data is this is the user information that we were capturing okay so name is valley email is this phone number is this address is this wallet amount is 50 then this was the country that we have added okay? so it's like this so for all these four working emails and password we have this data stored in the text file also if you just go to the hits db file here you will see this four will also be stored in this of uh, db okay which is actually a database file you can also check it from here uh where inside a db folder okay. so here our db will be created by the name silver bullet pro or db if you have ms access installed you can just right click it and then open it with uh ms access otherwise if you don't have it you can install mysql and then open it from there using queries if you have a basic idea of sql programming okay uh similarly configs are stored in this folder and then compiled if you compile any uh, config it will be stored here okay so you can just open it and check all the uh, config code that we have written okay i haven't compiled it so it's not here and what's else uh captchas i stored here it's here and proxy lists are here if if you export it to there will be saved here like this all these things okay then one list are here 
so i hope uh, this gave you basic information of how to use complete runner inside silo uh, if you love this video leave a like or a dislike in the next tutorial we will learn how can we bypass image based capture using silo Blit. so this is it for this video guys if you love this video leave a like or a dislike if you are new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next tutorial